In this video, we shall find mean, variance and standard deviation. Let us revise that the mean is denoted by x bar and it is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of total observations. Variance S square is given by this formula and standard deviation is the positive square root of the variance. Now if frequencies are given then, then the mean X bar is equal to summation Fi Xi divided by sum of all frequencies. Variance S square is equal to summation Fi into Xi minus X bar whole square divided by sum of all frequencies. And standard deviation S is equal to the positive square root of the variance. In this example, the length of 32 items is given. In other words, there are 3 items whose length is from 20 to 22 meters. There are six items whose length is from 23 to 25 meters. In a similar procedure we can say there are two objects whose length is from 32 to 34 meters. And we need to find the mean length and standard deviation of this data. To find mean, first of all we need to add all frequencies to find summation Fi. Frequencies are given in the question, so we add all these frequencies and we get that the sum of all frequencies is 32. In the next step, we need the value of Xi, so we find the class mark of each interval or midpoint of each interval. For the first interval we add the boundaries and divide it by 2 and we get the answer is 19. For the second interval 21 plus 23 divided by 2 and the answer is 22. In a similar way, we can find 25, 28, and 31. Next, we need to multiply each value of x with its corresponding frequency. When we multiply the frequency f with the value of x, 19, we get 76. When we multiply 22 with 5, we get 110. When we multiply 12 with 25, we get 300. In a similar way, we get 252 and 62. Finally, we add all these values and we get that the sum of Fi into Xi is equal to 800. Now let us substitute these values in the formula of mean to get the solution. We can see that the value of summation Fi Xi is 800 and the value of summation Fi is 32. When we divide 800 by 32 we get 25 and that is the required value of the mean. To find the value of variance, we can see in this formula of variance, the value of summation Fi is 32. So we need the value of summation Fi into Xi minus X bar whole square. First of all, let us find the value of xi minus x bar. 
So we shall subtract the value of mean which is 25 from each value of x. We subtract 25 from the first value which is 19 and we get minus 6 here. Then subtract 25 from 22 and we get minus 3. Then subtract 25 from 25 we get 0. Subtract 25 from 28 we get 3. In a similar way we get 6. Next let us square each value of this column to find the value of xi minus x bar whole square. So we get minus 6 square is 36 minus 3 square is 9 then we get 0, 9 and 36. In the next column we multiply each value of xi minus x bar whole square with the corresponding frequency. When we multiply the first value 36 with the corresponding frequency 4, we get 144. When we multiply 9 with 5, we get 45. Similarly, we get 0, 81 and 72. Now, we add all these values to get the value of summation fi n to xi minus x bar whole square. When we add all these values, we get 343. At the end, we substitute the values in the formula of variance. We can see its value is 343. And then we substitute the value of summation fi, its value is 32. When we divide 343 by 32, we get 10.72, that is the value of variance. Now standard deviation is the positive square root of the variance. So just taking positive square root and using calculator, we get that the standard deviation is 3.27. That's all.